Good morning, folks. I need to get right to it. Yesterday morning, we reported the moderate quake in Tonga ringing the entire Pacific plate. Then it shifted east. First, we took a 4.3 in California, 5.2 in Alaska. A 4.3 hit Utah and a 4.4 off of Oregon, but the large quake of the day hit Baja. Initially reported as a 5.5, it ripped L waves across the entire planet. RSOE has this as a 6.2. We had some even higher readings as well. Interesting also, a mid-sized quake appeared to shake the entire Mediterranean from Egypt to Greece. A volcano erupted in Mexico, and the Monticello nuclear plant shut down unexpectedly, third time in the last year. So we'll just look at this a moment. I admit it's not exactly the time of year you need to be anxiously checking the UK radar, but the rainfall right now is very harsh and might continue a bit more. Someone mentioned it was like a tropical storm without the gusts. How interesting a statement as we have clear rotation yesterday visible directly over the UK. Pressure map shows why I got that low pressure cyclonic movement. Here we are this morning and again still spinning. We are one mile per hour short of super typhoon status here, but by the time you hear it, it should have weakened further. It is forecast to impact a number of populous areas and does still pose a threat. On the other side of the Pacific, off Mexico, Miriam has decided to go out to sea. Folks, the buoy situation is deepening. I told you this one in event mode was a rookie, just put out there May of 2012. Here's its entire data set. You can see we had similar events about a month ago before this latest event. I decided to check the adjacent buoys, both a few years old. Here's the one closest to Australia, and it shows two distinct events in the last three years, but surely nothing conclusive or coinciding with the recent event. The other buoy wouldn't pull up the multi-year data plot, so got to go down below. We started with the sea height around 5,660 meters. Now we're around 5,640 meters. And since I don't think the sea level sunk 20 meters, that's likely a rise in sea floor. Perhaps the buoy in the middle here is meant to monitor this area, as was postulated by some of you yesterday. In case you can't tell, we have gone even lower on sea height, indicating that the floor is still rising. We had some data missing in between yesterday and today, but we are back up and over the 1,000-foot deviation mark. Quick look at the sun. Central group of sunspots is in major decay. Still beta gamma, but probably not a flare threat. The only mid-sea flare yesterday came from the northeast, but the southeast is clearly the primary watch zone. We are approaching the Uranus sun opposition and the full moon, both technically heliocentric as well as geocentric, so solar flares and earthquake activity should be on the rise in the coming days. In addition to flares, we have this thin dark filament turning towards Earth. I'll leave you with 304 angstroms of our star and plasma prominences on the outside. I'm a little late. It's 6.07 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.